Um, I guess just to tell you how we got into the catering business is I've always entertained and that was just something that we did as a couple and about uh, six, seven years ago decided to go to culinary school and well, here I went here in Austin to the Culinary Academy of Austin. Um, did a nine month program there, came out of it knowing I was too old to be in the restaurant business and decided I would do catering which is what I've always loved to do and mostly it's about just good food. People ask what, what do you make? I just say we just make good food, don't have any particular menus that we have to do, we'll just do whatever somebody wants us to do and we have obviously some special things that we do. Um, well, I'm from Tucson, but I've been here in Texas for 43 years, so got here as quick as I could. Um, I mean, I've always remained in the same Central Texas area, um, either in Georgetown or in Austin, as far as I've gone. So we've been in Round Rock since 2005. Okay. Well, it's a family in such that my son works for me. Um, he's my sous chef. and. Um, the most talent I have in the kitchen by far. Uh, does all of the creative work and comes up with a lot of the new ideas that, that we have going all the time. And then other family members that come and help me, my brother-in-law, my daughter, my husband helps me every day. Uh, I've got a great staff, I've got uh, Stacy Lish who works with me, she's our catering coordinator and she works on um, work, work with the different event centers and um, clientele to put together um, uh, special events and new and new events for us. I like the everyday satisfaction that I get from cooking for people. Um, I spent 22 years in insurance, in which I was good. Um, I would say I was even great at some times, but it didn't give you the personal satisfaction that you get every single day from cooking for people. Um, the rewards that you get, um, it just makes people happy and food is comforting. And, that's probably what, if you ask what we cook, that's what I tell you, just com good comforting food. Um, it's got to taste good, it's got to look good. That's, you know, what we strive for and that's what our goals are. If you get like one of our lunch boxes, I just try to make sure that you've got a lunch box you've not seen somewhere else. It's a white box, it's tied with a purple ribbon. Um, it's full of more food than you need for lunch. It's really good, good gourmet sandwich, um, great salads fresh fruit. If we're going to put fresh fruit in anything, it's going to be cut the day that we do it. You'll never see us cut up fruit the day before. Really great desserts. Um, we don't do big cakes or anything like that. We do a lot of little things. So we make our own Oreos, our own peanut butter sandwich cookies. We've got uh, a cookie we call our crack cookie. Um, <laughs> and it's very addictive. Um, lots of different kinds of brownies. All of our brownies are always frosted and, and cut in circles or they might be cut in squares and they're ganache, but they're always decorated for each very specific. And lots of different kinds of cheesecakes. We do some fun things with strawberries that you just don't see at other, you're not buying it at the grocery store. Um, you know, the, the, the holiday that we really work the most is gonna be Christmas. Uh, there's, it starts the, before Christmas gets started, we do um, about 20 different kinds of cookies that we ship all over the United States, and we'll make about 4,000 of them, and we box those up and ship those for, for one client. Um, and that's what starts our holiday, and then there's just party after party after party. So we work just about every single day, night and day, till about the 22nd or 23rd, and then starts our Christmas. So it's just, that there's a lot, that's probably our biggest this is holiday. Stacy, Stacy uh, does anything for us from making some of the best cookies in town, I think, and um, helps us with, um, does, in addition to cooking, she um, does marketing for us. Brooke, who just walked that way, Brooke is our, uh, he's, our he, he's our he's our chief cook. He does uh, a lot of our creative dishes. So if it's, um, I'm wanting to try something new or Stacy's got something new she wants us to try, she'll come to Brooke and give him kind of a flavor of what we're looking for and he puts that together for us. Um, probably just an excellent creative mind and got a really great palate. So, um, Tim is a chief cook and bottle washer today. Yeah, he, um, he's a, a, it started out as a great home cook. He's also my brother-in-law for the last 25 years. 
Um, and so we bring him in, oh, probably about nine months out of the year of doing whatever, he'll do whatever. Bow ties, ties to blue, blue jeans. jeans. Small batch, all scratch kitchen. Thank you. That's your local <laughs>